Grandpa in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. This is my house where I live with my mum, dad, sister Jemima and Grandpa. And today was a very exciting one for Grandpa. Oh, this is so exciting. What is it? Is it something to do with Captain Dumbletwit? Captain Dumbletwit is Grandpa's oh. favourite cartoon, which is why I gave him the poster of it for his birthday. Captain Dumbletwit and the Invasion of the Alien Poodles. It's my favourite episode. I love it. And my sister Jemima gave him a Captain Dumbletwit telescope. I can see you, Grandpa. Oh, I'm over here. And Mum was doing her new hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, photography, the ukulele, knitting, opera singing, and now cake decorating. Which is why she'd made Grandpa. Ta da! Captain Dumbletwit's spaceship cake. It's wonderful. I know. It's too good to cut. I know. Mum was really proud of her cake. Whoa! Imagine going to the moon in that, Grandpa. That's what Captain Dumbletwit does, Jason. And he brings back some moon dust. Oh, I'd love to have some moon dust. I'm sure you would. You're not going to believe this. What? what? It's her. Who? Great Aunt Loretta. Oh, yes. Grandpa's sister was coming. She makes really weird food, like sausage with sardine sauce. And she drinks green gloop. And she's always stubbing her toe. We have a pack of peas in the freezer that we always put on it. And she's often like this. Or like this. And she makes Grandpa feel like this. Oh, no, not Loretta. I'll go. I'm going outside to tell Dad. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I brought you some green glue tops. Grandpa didn't want any green gloop tarts. He had another plan. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. Grandpa, stop! Playing, Grandpa? He can fly off in my plane. Grandpa, come back! Run for all he's worth. Grandpa, get down. Somebody will see you. Just having a bit of fun, Jason. Can't I have a bit of fun on my birthday? Yes, but can't you have a bit of fun without shrinking? Ah, uh ah. -uh. I want to get into my cake, see? Whee! Jason? Um. Whee! Just pretended to fly in Captain Dumbledore's spaceship. It really is rather good, isn't it? Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? On his birthday. Oh, well, I'm starving. Chocolate cake. Let's cut it. I'll get a knife. Oh, no. No, we can't cut it without Grandpa. It's his birthday, after all. We managed to get Aunt Loretta away from the cake. Let's play a party game. Yeah, birthdays and a birthday without party games. Musical statues, OK? Help me up, Jack. I thought Grandpa would get into his cake when we went in the garden, but... I brought it out so I can keep an eye on it. 
He'd missed his chance. I was more interested in finding out what happened to Grandpa than playing musical statues. If his plan was to get into his cake, then I guessed he'd be out here soon. <gasps> so you move, Jason. You're out. Oh, Jason. You're out. You're out. If Grandpa was going to get into his cake, he'd need a plan to get all of us back inside. And his plan was to bite Great Aunt Loretta's toe. Great Aunt Loretta is always hurting her foot, and we always put a bag of frozen peas on it. Oh, trust you to have some horrible little insect in your garden. Ow! Meanwhile, Grandpa was determined to get into that cake. Grandpa! Mum's coming! Thought I'd better take it inside for safekeeping. Thank goodness she hadn't seen Grandpa. Come on, Jason. Aunt Loretta started on the green gloop tarts. Yuck! There was nothing for it. I had to go. And don't think you're getting any, you greedy guts. Great Aunt Loretta isn't keen on Beowulf. And Beowulf isn't keen on Great Aunt Loretta. So he hid under the table. What I didn't know was that Grandpa was hiding there too. But I soon found out. Ah! I've been written a little! Grandpa ran to hide and Beowulf ran into the garden. Oh, it was you! Now he got rid of everyone, Grandpa grabbed his chance. He climbed up the table leg towards his spaceship cake. Grandpa, where are you going? To the moon, of course. You know when Grandpa gets into a toy car or a toy plane, he can make them go? Well, it's the same with a spaceship cake. stop him. Grandpa had gone to the moon in his own cake. I rushed into the kitchen and put the lid back on the tray. I didn't want anyone to notice the cake was missing, but the cake wasn't all that was missing. Beowulf has run off to the beach. We're going after him. Can you take Aunt Loretta the peas, please? <laughs> I was really worried about Grandpa. Maybe he was on the moon now with Captain Doubletwit and the alien poodles. I hoped he wouldn't be gone long. I'd miss him. I have a lot of fun with Grandpa. We play games together. We share our ice cream. We suck up our spaghetti. And I just hoped he'd come down to Earth very soon. I wondered if he'd bring anything back with him. That, if he could find his way back. Suddenly, I saw a speck in the sky. Grandpa was coming home. I'll be right back. I raced into the kitchen to get the cake tray. And raced back out again with it. I was just in time. Grandpa made a perfect landing. Out he came! I quickly picked him up and put him down on the grass. He whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Grandpa, I was so worried about you. No need to worry. I had a great time. Did you meet Captain Dumbledore? Of course. And the alien poodles? Of course, and... Dust. Wow! Oh, thanks, Grandpa. I couldn't have done it without you. Teamwork. Teamwork. We found him! What? Grandpa, you're awake. Yes. Oh. Good! 
Now we can have that chocolate cake. I shall feel better when I've had some cake. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the matter? Later that evening, Grandpa and I were admiring the moon dust. You're amazing, Grandpa. I can't believe you actually went to the moon. Oh, yes. And when you're a Grandpa, you can have my magic cap and you'll be able to go to the moon too. Hot chocolate, Grandpa. As if you hadn't had enough chocolate today. Goodness, you've even got a bit on your ear. Anyone would think you'd been right inside that spaceship cake. 